Hi, I'm Jake Shaw with Kern Laser Systems. Keeping the laser systems chilling unit properly maintained plays a major factor in the longevity of the laser. In today's video, I'll go over the maintenance procedures required on your SNA 6000 chilling unit. The laser systems chilling unit will need at minimum a monthly maintenance check. If the environment the chiller is located in is dirty, the maintenance should be performed more frequently. Before performing any maintenance, put on your certified laser safety glasses. Power down the laser system, place the power switch of the chiller in the off position, and unplug the chiller's power cord. To keep the chilling unit operating at optimum performance, the air vents, reusable air filters, and condenser should be kept free of dust and dirt. Remove both the left and right side access panels by pressing in on the tabs near the top of the panel. Next, remove the air filters from the panels. Thoroughly rinse the air filters with water. Use compressed air to both dry and remove any remaining dust or dirt. Also, use compressed air to remove dust and dirt from the side panels and internal parts of the chiller. Once the air filters are dry, mount the filters onto the side panels and reinstall the panels onto the chiller. The fluid level gauge found at the rear of the unit should be checked weekly to determine the fluid level. If the level is low, add distilled water until full. Every six months, the reservoir tank should be drained and refilled with new distilled water and additive. This will prevent sediment and particles from building up in the reservoir tank and getting into the water lines. Some items needed to drain and refill the reservoir is a crescent wrench, four gallons of distilled water, one gallon of OptiShield Plus, a measuring cup, and a container or a bucket to catch the drain chiller fluid. To drain the chiller, locate the drain plug on the back of the chilling unit and place the container below the drain hole. Use a crescent wrench to remove the drain plug. It may be necessary to elevate the front of the chiller to allow all the fluid to drain. Once the reservoir tank is empty, reinstall the drain plug. Check with local authorities on the disposal requirements of the drained chiller fluid. The water filter assembly should be checked monthly. The assembly is located at the back of the laser system. Visually inspect the cartridge filter and canister for debris and particles. If debris and particles are noticed, remove the canister from the water filter assembly. To remove the canister, unthread from the water filter assembly. Once removed, lift the filter out and drain the remaining fluid in the canister into a container or bucket. Rinse debris and particles from the canister and filter with water. If the filter is built up with debris and particles that can't be removed, the filter will need replacing. Replacement filters can be purchased on Kern's laserlocker.com website. Insert the filter into the canister and reinstall into the water filter assembly. To fill the chiller's reservoir, remove the reservoir cap. Use a mixture of distilled water and OptiShield Plus to fill the reservoir. For KT lasers with wattages of 100, 150, and 200 watts, use a mix ratio of 90 to 10 distilled water to OptiShield Plus. The chiller reservoir holds about four gallons. With a ratio of 90 to 10 
This amounts to about 51 ounces of the OptiShield Plus. Use a measuring cup to measure out the 51 ounces and pour into the reservoir. Top off the reservoir with distilled water. Once the reservoir is full, reinstall the reservoir cap. Plug in the chiller's power cord and turn the power switch to the on position. Check for any leaks. Recheck the reservoir after the chiller has been running. If the fluid level has dropped, add distilled water until full. If you have any questions on the maintenance of your SNA 6000 chilling unit, please contact your current sales representative or Kern's technical support.